The stitches for rounds 11 to 14 are the same. In rounds 11 to 14, work one chain stitch, 32 single crochets, and one slip stitch for each round. We will demonstrate round 11. Work one chain stitch first. Then work one single crochet in each stitch. There will be 32 single crochets in total in this round. Please finish the rest of some crochets by yourself. Finish a total of 32 some crochets in this round. 32 some crochets are done. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 11 is done. Please finish rounds 12 to 14 in the same way as round 11 by yourself. Work one chain stitch, 32 single crochets, and one slip stitch for each round. Round 14 is done. In round 15, start with one chain stitch. Then work set of 7 single crochets, one increase for 4 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. The first set. Work 7 single crochets. Remember to mark the first stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, which means working two some crochets in the same stitch. We have demonstrated one set. Please finish the rest of three sets by yourself. Work seven some crochets and one increase as one set. Four sets are done. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 15 is done. The stitches for rounds 16 to 18 are the same. In rounds 16 to 18, work 1 chain stitch, 36 in crochets, and 1 slip stitch for each round. We will demonstrate round 16. Work 1 chain stitch first. Then work 1 single crochet in each stitch. There will be 36 crochets in total in this round. It is some crochets are done. Please finish the rest 28 some crochets by yourself. 36 some crochets are done. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 16 is done. Please finish rounds 17 to 18 in the same way as round 16 by yourself. Work one chain stitch, 36 some crochets, and one slip stitch for each round. Round 18 is done. In round 19, start with 3 chain stitches, and then work 36 double crochets through the front loop solely. Finally, end with 1 slip stitch. Work 3 chain stitches first.
The chain stitches are to raise the height and will not be counted into a number of stitches. A regular stitch, namely V shape, has two loops. The loop close to us is the front loop. We will work 36 double crochets through the front loop solely in this round. Pay attention to the needle. Yarn over the hook first, insert hook into the front loop of the first stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the first loop on the hook. Yarn over the hook again and pull the yarn through the remaining two loops on the hook. One double crochet through front loop solely is done. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. Mark the first double crochet. Continue to work 35 more double crochets through the front loop solely in the same way. Yarn over the hook first, insert hook into the front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook now. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first loop on the hook. Yarn over the hook again and pull through the remaining two loops on the hook. The second double crochet through front loop only is done. Yarn over the hook first, insert hook into the front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook now. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook again and pull through the remaining two loops on the hook. The third double crochet is done. Finish a total of 36 double crochets through front loops only in this round. Please finish the rest of the crochets by yourself. Thirty-six double crochets through front loop solely are done. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Row nineteen is done. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail. Yarn tail over the hook and pull the yarn tail out. Tighten up. Turn the back side of round 19 out. Thread the needle with the yarn tail. Consult the yarn tail inside the fabric. And finally cut off axis end. One flower pot is completed.